All right, happy Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, Big Pants Underground. I am John, and welcome. I didn't have a whole lot to talk about today, uh, but I was scrolling through Twitter, and I saw another one of these uh, posts. This is from Donald Tr J. Trump News. I don't think it is Donald Trump. I don't know who runs this uh, this Twitter page, Twitter handle, whatever you want to call it. But you've seen this a hundred times now. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey say that we'll leave the United States if Donald Trump becomes president in 2024. Uh, this time it's, it's Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Normally it's Oprah Winfrey or Mark Hamill or some other celebrity. That never leaves. Donald Trump was elected in 2016. These people said the same thing and they never left. They stayed here. And my point is, I know that people just make this crap up, but my point is, why should they? Why should they care? You know, Kamala just endorsed, or I'm sorry, not Kamala. <laughs> Taylor Swift just endorsed Kamala. Okay, and I'm, I'm guessing that her lap boy there Travis Kelsey also endorsed him. Uh, on the other hand, Hulk Hogan has endorsed Donald Trump. Or uh, Kid Rock has endorsed Donald Trump. Or uh, Mark Hamill and Mark Ruffalo have endorsed Kamala Harris. My point is, it doesn't matter who these celebrities endorse. Because whoever gets elected, whichever one of them gets elected whether it be Kamala Harris or Donald Trump, it's not really going to affect the lives of these celebrities. And that's the biggest point that I try to think about in this election is who's going to help me, okay? I need, I need help. My, everybody I know needs help. I do not make tons of money, okay? I, uh, I don't want to go too far back into my past, but I had a serious bout with cancer in 2016 and I can't work the way that I used to be able to work. I still do work, but it has diminished my uh, ability to make the same amount of money that I used to make. Having said that, that is my biggest concern with this election. Uh, I want to be able to afford groceries. I want to be able to afford gas. I want to be able to afford my mortgage payment. Okay, these people, Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, Mark Hamill, Mark Ruffalo, Hulk Hogan, all these people that have endorsed these candidates, it doesn't matter one way or the other who gets elected because their lives aren't going to change. They, they oh, that someone might charge them more taxes. When you're a freaking billionaire like Taylor Swift is, what difference does it make how many taxes they charge you? They're never going to be able to charge you enough taxes that you're going to run out of money. You, you, you could probably never spend $5 billion in a, in a lifetime. There's just, there's just no way to spend that. So why do they care who gets elected? And yeah, if, if uh, say Kamala Harris gets elected and, and all of a sudden we're at war with Russia or... Uh, Palestine or the Ukraine or whatever, and we're at war, these people, what difference would it make to them? They'll just move to their house in Canada or uh, their house in Peru or somewhere else. They won't have to stay here. They can just leave. So I guess what I'm trying to say is don't listen to these uh, adult pretenders, these singers, these actors. Don't listen to them. When it comes to to figuring out who you want to be president, think about what the issues are on your level, because these people have no idea how normal people live. Normal people like you or I, or anyone that just is a middle class, maybe upper, even upper middle class, definitely lower middle class, and definitely lower class. These people, Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, they, I don't know how they grew up, but they got pretty rich, pretty young, so it, they're they're not like me, you know, a fifty year old man struggling, trying to put food on the table for a family. I mean, I'm not struggling too hard. We're 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 doing okay, but 
we could be doing a lot better. But Taylor Swift, she ain't got nothing to worry about. She just needs to worry about which home she's going to sleep in tonight. Could it be the one in Florida? Could it be the one in Los Angeles? Could it be the one in Tahoe? It's such a hard dilemma for her to figure out. Yeah. Don't listen. Don't listen to what they what they tell you. Don't listen to any opinion that they give you. Just think about what is going to affect you and how it's going to make your life better. War is uh, war is is hell. Okay, I was in the military. I know that war sucks. We don't want to be at war. We don't want to be at war with Russia. We don't want to be at war with Israel. We don't want to be at war with Palestine. We just don't. We, we want war to stop. Okay, war is not a good thing. So vote from your heart. Think about it before you do it. And don't, don't listen to what these people say. And if they leave the country, big freaking deal. It's not going to stop you. If, you. if you're a huge Taylor Swift fan, it's not going to stop you from listening to Taylor Swift. You'll still be able to access her music. Okay, <laughs> so I don't see Travis Kelsey going anywhere. Because I don't think uh, the Kansas City Chiefs are going to keep him around if he decides he's going to move to uh, Germany or or wherever these people think they're going to move to if uh, Donald Trump gets elected. They already did say, you know, they added context. Travis, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey have made no such claims. Of course they hadn't. It's always fake news. It's always fake news. But what they have claimed is their endorsements of certain candidates. And even... Yeah, I'm a Hulk Hogan fan. I love Hulk Hogan, but I'm not going to I'm not going to follow what he thinks. I'm going to follow what I think because Hulk Hogan has plenty of money and it it really isn't going to affect him. Who gets the only thing that'll affect any of us is if we have to go to war. That would be the worst. The worst uh, uh thing that could possibly affect all of us. But as far as as their cost of living and worrying about whether they're going to be able to keep their, their mansion in Beverly Hills. Yeah. They, 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 they're not worried really in the, in the long run of who gets elected. So that's all I got for you today. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit that like button. Please share this and uh, tell your friends about it. See if we can get some more subscribers. I would appreciate that until next time. Bye for now.